Hi, this is Nick from Canada Weld, coming at you today from our office in Vaughan, Ontario. So today we're going to be unboxing the Stick Welder 161 PFBU. Uh, we're going to open up this machine, we're going to see everything that you get, one piece at a time, if you would decide to buy it. We're going to talk about a few of the features of the machine, and we are going to explain what the PF and the DU in the name both mean. So, let's get started and take a look. So the first thing we're going to do is pull out our torches. So that's all going to come in a box like this. And the first thing you're going to want to do when you open it up is pull out your owner's manual, right? In the back right here is your warranty paperwork. You want to fill this out, put it away someplace safe in the top drawer of your toolbox, in a book in your garage, wherever, and make sure it's there for you. If you ever do have a problem, we have a very comprehensive three-year warranty and we can fix anything right here at our place in Vaughan. But you got to have your paperwork. So don't lose it, make sure you fill it out. After that, pull out your owner's manual and even if you're a pro, it doesn't hurt to flip to your safety section, go over your symbols, go over the cautions, all that kind of stuff uh, because sometimes you know you get excited when you unbox a machine like this or we get into bad habits from welding for so long and it's just good to have a reminder about your safety stuff. You don't want to damage yourself, your machine or anyone else around you. So let's see what comes out of the box next. Here we have standard gator style ground clamp. Clip it on the side of your table or off your workpiece, whatever you need. Uh, these are 12 feet in length um, and they do come with this fairly light, it's a heavy duty pure copper cord, so there's good conductance, but it's also nice and light in case you have to do some overhead welding or you're doing a lot of vertical all day. You're not holding that weight uh, while you're trying to work, which is kind of nice. So let's take a look at the stick welding electrode holder now. So you'll see, this is the same kind of cable, nice and light, good quality, also 12 feet, just like your ground clamp, and these are the heavy duty paddle style ones. You don't often see these so much up in Canada, they are big fans of these uh, down in the States and a few other places in South America. I like these a lot actually because they allow you to flip your rod into quite a few different positions without bending it. So these are quite nice too. So let's get this out of the way and take a look at our machine. So here it is. So this is a nice light package that only weighs 23 pounds. Here I have the handle that it comes with installed, uh, but there is also a shoulder strap that you can put on it that you thread through here and here, uh, and that way you can move your work all around the work site when you're doing stuff. Maybe you're hooking up to a generator out of the back of a van, maybe you're doing all sorts of things. It's really easy to pick this up and walk around and go wherever you need to go. Some little features I'd like to touch on with this is, I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up, but we have a hammered paint job finish on here. So it's a little bit higher quality paint job than what you would find on something on some of the competitor models. Uh, it's more scratch resistant, it's tougher, and it keeps your machine looking beautiful for a bit longer. Something else we also do is use a galvanized plate on the bottom. Sometimes, I mean, my garage at home gets awfully damp and I notice things just slowly rust over time while they're sitting out there. Uh, sometimes maybe you put your welding machine down in a puddle, maybe you're using it outdoors when it's drizzly or something like that. It's nice to have this galvanized plate on the bottom so you don't have to worry that you're slowly rusting out the bottom of your machine. So let's take a look at the controls in the front. So right now this is set, you can see the switch is showing the electrode holder. So we know that we're in stick welding mode. So I would adjust my power here from zero all the way up to 150 amps. If we wanted to do some scratch start TIG welding, all we do is flip the switch and then we would move our ground to the positive. Yep, and our torch to the negative, our TIG torch to the negative, and then we're ready to do scratch start TIG. Really easy to set up, really simple to use. There's not a million buttons on it, it's very intuitive. Plus you also have your manual to help you should you get confused. Uh, the nice part about this, let's talk about the DU. So the DU means that this machine is dual voltage. So you can plug it into a 220, stand, plug it into a 110 using an adapter. If you were to do that, you won't have any considerable power droppage. You'll lose a few of your amps, but because it's designed to work with one or the other, you're not losing 50% of your power. Um, that's really handy when sometimes you're not working at a ded dedicated shop space, maybe you need to bring your shop out to the work. 
clients that are bringing the work into your shop, you know? So it's nice to know that wherever you go, you'll be able to strike up an arc and do some welding and you don't have to worry in advance about, okay, well, what kind of a power supply is there when I get there? So that's what the DU stands for. Uh, the PF in the name right here, the PF is for a power saving function, which basically means that the machine is drawing current all the time, whether or not you're welding, right? So there's input current going into it and it's being stored in the machine ready for you to weld. But maybe you knock it over or maybe you're using it in wet conditions. Maybe you spill water on it. Maybe you touch some bare wires, you know, just by accident, things happen in the shop. With the PF engaged, you use this key here, and that means that whenever you're not striking an arc, it's going to drop down the amount of current that the machine is taking from the power grid. So that means if you do spill some water on it, or you go to unplug it and your finger touches the prong by accident or something like that, you're only going to get a minimal shock. So it's a little extra safety feature that we like to include on some of these models, because we know it's light, it's got the shoulder strap, it's got the galvanized bottom people are going to want to take them outside and use them with their generators, use them in adverse conditions, and use them all over the place. So it's just a little bit of extra peace of mind to know that when you're using it in not the best conditions, should the worst happen where you're going to get a shock, it's not going to be that bad. It's not going to, you know, put you on your butt, you know. Um, you'll be able to shake it off and keep working. So that's a nice little feature about this. Um, these right now, I'm not going to give you guys the price, but we are selling these quite competitively. You can feel free to reach out to us through the website or you can call our office in Vaughan and I'd be happy to give you a quote on it and I bet you'd be very pleasantly surprised. So in the meantime guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you enjoyed the video today and please leave your questions and comments and criticisms in the comment section down below. We're gonna check that out and we use that to create our next videos. And thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe out there everyone and have a lot of fun.